Natalie. For the upcoming holidays, you said you were going to Disneyland with your friend, right? Yeah, but what about it? Didn't you also go to Disneyland recently? Yeah, I went there with my family last month. Haven't you and your family been going quite often? Well, actually, I have a yearly pass. I see. With a year pass, going often gets your money's worth, right? Exactly. Think I'll make this here at Disney year. <laughs> Sounds nice. All this talk about Disney makes me want to go too. How about inviting some of your friends and going? Uh, but normally, going costs money. <laughs> well, how are you expecting to go without spending money? Well, I thought I had a great idea. You say great idea, but I get the feeling that I'm not going to like it. It's nothing like that. Just hear me out. Alright, I'm listening. How about if I get in using a forged yearly pass? What? Are you serious? Yearly passes are like a card, right? I was looking up pictures of them online and thought that you could definitely make something like this. Wait, wait. Are you trying to get me to forge a yearly pass for you? You're like a professional at hand making things, right? Something like a yearly pass would be too easy for you. <laughs> I'd never make something like that. I mean, making a forgery is so wrong. What are you even thinking? I just want to save some money. If I can save the money from the ticket, I can use that money to buy gifts. And I can even eat some delicious food, right? I mean, really. Putting out that much money for a ticket is just silly. <laughs> If you don't want to pay for the ticket, I don't think you have the right to go. Moreover, what you're thinking about doing is like fraud. You know that, right? Like if you're careless or caught, you'll be going to the police. Well, it might be more fun with a little thrill to it. <laughs> what are you even talking about? Oh, that trip you're taking? Can I come too? All that talking about Disney makes me really want to go. I told you that this trip is with my friends from middle school, not mommy friends, remember? Of course I remember. I've never met your friends before, but I'm sure if we meet, we'd get along right away. That settles it then. I'll be coming along on the day. <laughs> no, no. I'd like you to just not. My friends wouldn't like having someone come along they don't know. Someone they don't know? I'm your mommy friend. They must think of me as a friend too. Don't start talking about me like I'm some stranger. Either way, I simply can't bring you along. Really? Besides, we're going to be staying overnight. You'll have even more to worry about. I'll be alright. Even if you're alright? It's just going to stress everyone else out. Everyone is so close-minded. <laughs> well, no matter what they say to me, I plan on going together. Please, I'm begging you not to get in the way. But the more the merry, right? I'll handle the hotel and stuff like that, but I'll leave the yearly pass to you. Yearly pass? You're still not thinking about having me make a forgery for you, are you? If you make it for me, I'll give you something delicious. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be making a forgery. Oh no, I'm starting to get excited about Disney. Make sure to tell your friends for me. Hey! We are not going together, you know that, right, Marissa? Day of the trip. Good morning. Today is a long-awaited Disney trip. I'm on my way. You're heading to Disney? Of course. Where are you guys? We're on the road to... I see. Well then, I'll see you there. Marissa, since you probably haven't gone far yet, you readily should turn back. Where you're going, we won't be able to meet up anyway. You don't want me to go no matter what, huh? But once I get there... 
I bet you'll want me to stay. I'll probably get there first anyway. I'll let you know when I get there. Several hours later. Hey, I finally made it. <laughs> he actually came. Of course I came. Did you remember to bring the fake here pass for me? I'm already in front of the entrance. I now have absolutely no money. So I'll leave everything to you. So looking forward to a day of Disney. I arrived at USJ. Looking forward to a day of fun. Isn't today Disney? Were you like too excited that you must start? No, we are actually at USJ. What? You said today was Disney. Actually, after that, I had a chat with everyone and we decided to change the plan to USJ instead of Disney. Really? But I wasn't told anything about a change in plans. No, you weren't. I mean, why would I? You aren't part of the group. Wait, wait. You said we were going together. You just kept on inviting yourself, saying you would go. I don't remember even agreeing with you. Why did you suddenly change where you were going? Because I wanted to tour around Osaka. There isn't really any special reason. But you have a year past Disney? Isn't it a waste to not use it? I mean, I'm the only one who has a yearly pass, which means that all of my friends would have to buy a ticket, making me the only one who is getting in without paying. You shouldn't worry about things like that. Like, I'd proudly use my year pass whenever I could. That may be fine for you, but I just feel bad for everyone else. Huh. You're kind of strange one, aren't you? Of the two of us, I think it's you who is the strange one. Never mind that. I mean, I'm already here at Disney. What do you expect me to do? You're there alone, right? Obviously. Because I thought everyone was going to be meeting here. I didn't think for a minute that you would instead go to USJ. You tricked me. Don't go saying that I tricked you. I never promised that we would go together in the first place. God, I was just going to get here early and then just bring myself along when you guys got here. Come to think of it, you had to have bought a ticket beforehand to get in, right? I know that, which is why I wanted you to make me the fake year pass. Well, looks like all you can do is give up and head back home then. Unfortunate that he went all the way though. I don't want to go home. Like, I even ended up booking a hotel. Even if I call to cancel, they'll end up taking a cancellation fee. Seriously, I even booked the suite room. I can't just not stay. Even if you tell me that, well, if that's the case, why don't you just give up on Disney and enjoy yourself at the hotel? It's probably a good hotel and lounging around in a hotel can be fun in its own way, right? Like I told you before, I don't have any money. Even if I wanted to go to the hotel, I can't. Wait, were you serious when you said that you had no money? I thought it was some kind of joke. I'd never joke about something like that. I have no money left in my purse. Then how did you end up getting all the way to Disneyland? I only brought enough to pay for getting here. Other than that, I was going to get you to pay for me. I brought nothing. What? Why am I paying for everything? Like, none of what you're saying is making any sense. I mean, of course. I'm going to get the person who seems to have more money to pay. Look, you have a husband who works for a big company. And even you yourself are working hard as a full-time employee. You just scream affluent. People who have money should be helping those who don't, right? Isn't that kind of a flawed outlook? I mean, if one person wants to pay for someone else's, that's one thing, but to expect someone to pay for you? I think is wrong. Is that so? I believe that people who don't use money for others are wrong. I think we have a fundamentally different way of thinking. But that's whatever. More than that. With you guys not here, what do I do? Like I'd know. If you don't have any money, why don't you call your husband to help you? 
I told him I was going to Disneyland, but I didn't say anything about booking a sweet room. Recently, I got in trouble for spending too much money. If this gets found out, I'll definitely be jailed at the in-laws place. Jailed? Please don't talk about your in-laws place like it's some type of prison. They are strict. Anyway, me and my friends are going to have fun at USJ, so if you'll excuse me. Wait, but I'm not finished talking to you. I, for one, don't have time to keep talking to you. So again, excuse me while I enjoy myself at USJ. Hey, don't go making this about you having fun. Several hours later... Hey, got a minute? Guess who I'm with now? Hey Marissa, who are you with? I'm with my mother-in-law. So, your mother-in-law came for you. Then you ended up not having to cancel the hotel? Yeah, pretty much. But this is no fun at all. She has been lecturing me the whole time. Since she started enjoying the hotel, she's gotten in a better mood, but I'm having no fun at all. I wanted to order room service and go to a high-class spa, but my mother-in-law is saying to not use money on frivolous things. Shouldn't you be happy just being able to stay in the suite room? Like, isn't your mother-in-law paying for everything? Yeah, but I wanted to be on a trip with you guys. I didn't want to be on this trip from hell with my mother-in-law. It's rude to talk about your mother-in-law like that. You should be thankful that she saved you. Of course, I'm thankful that she paid for me, but in the end, I'm going to have to work to pay back that money. I mean, obviously. More than just the bill for the hotel, I think it would be a good idea to also pay for the inconvenience that you put on her. What? If I do that, I'll just lose more money. Even though I've already lost so much from this trip. Expecting your mommy friend to use their own money so that you can save money is a weird way of thinking. But that's just my way of doing things. What's wrong with that? Jeez, I'm definitely not going to forgive you for today. Next time, I'll show you that I can make it work. Huh? Marissa, have you learned nothing from this? I'm not someone who would completely back down from something like this. <laughs> If I remember right, you said you were going to have a dinner with some other mommy friends, right? <laughs> Can you be thinking about the soccer team's thank you party? Yeah, that. <laughs> Everyone was going to eat yakiniku, right? Yeah, but don't tell me you're going to try and join. Well, who knows? I'm not going to tell you what I'm thinking. Well. I do know that whatever you're thinking of isn't good. If you don't want to lose any of your friends that surround you, I would really suggest not doing such brazen things. Also, if you mess up the thank you party, you'll not just make the parents feel bad, but the kids as well. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I don't plan on being a bother to the kids. <laughs> as long as I can get back to you, that's enough for me. <laughs> What? I just can't with you. I'm sorry, but after all this, we can't be friends anymore. Huh. Are you sure about saying something like that? I don't know what's going to happen, but... If that's the case, then I'll do whatever I can to stop it. Talking anymore with you is a complete waste. Goodbye. Several weeks later... The restaurant reservation just being cancelled all by itself was you, wasn't it? Oh no. It was cancelled? I wonder why. Don't play coy with me. I can't think of anyone other than you who would do something like this. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I was the one who cancelled it, though. I knew it. Why would you do something like that? This is just payback for what happened before. Because I had to pay for that hotel, I'm forced to work more hours at my part-time job. Didn't you just bring that upon yourself, though? Don't put the blame on me. Either way, 
You must be having quite a bit of trouble since the reservation got cancelled. <laughs> that part is fine. The restaurant called me to confirm the cancellation after they realized that it wasn't me who tried to cancel the reservation. Oh, really? The staff told me that they would cancel the reservation, though. I had really made some preparations for that. What do you mean? Knowing you, I knew you were going to try something. So I had them confirm any changes with me just in case any strange calls from strange women came. Calling me a strange woman is rude. I'm not wrong, am I? I frequent that restaurant and I'm even friends with the manager. When you were calling up to no good, he realized immediately what was going on. Too bad, huh? You little. If canceling the reservation did go through, looks like I'll just have to go there myself. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Make sure you pay for me. Let's just call it atonement for what you did to me. You're not making any sense. Like, this whole situation is your fault in the first place. It should be me who wants atonement for what you did. Shouldn't the rich be nice to the needy? <laughs> this conversation is going nowhere. I'll be showing these messages to your mother-in-law, alright? What? Why are you suddenly talking about my mother-in-law? You didn't know? Actually, recently we've became fast friends. Huh. Marissa, didn't he hear anything from your mother-in-law recently about her starting to go to an arts and crafts class? She may have said something about that, yeah. When I went to their house just a little while ago, there was a lot of handmade crafts everywhere. In fact, the class that your mother-in-law goes to is the class that I'm running. Huh, you're lying. It's the truth. She's been coming to my class for about two months now. At first, I didn't realize she was your mother-in-law, so I was surprised too. Then, how long have you known? About the second time she came, we were talking about children and I pieced it together. Why didn't you tell me that you and her knew each other? It then seemed like something that needed to be brought up. I'd want you to bring up something as important as that though. Wait a minute. You said that you'd be showing her this chat, didn't you? Yeah. By the way, I've already told her about all the things that we've been up to till now. Till now? Like how you've been having the other mothers pay for you? Or how you come to house parties with Tupperware so that you can just take tons of it home? Of course, I've also told her about this recent trip and how you tried to have me forge a yearly pass for you. If you say stuff like that, I'm going to end up having to live with my in-laws. Well, it seemed like you wanted to not live with your in-laws no matter what, so I've been quiet up until now. But if this continues the way it has, I don't think it will be good for the other mothers, so I told her everything. But what'll I do if my mother-in-law misunderstands? Misunderstands? I haven't said anything but the truth. Anything but that. I don't want to live with my in-laws. I won't ask anyone to pay for me anymore, so can you please explain to her that all that stuff was a big misunderstanding? No, I'm already at my limit with you. Like, I can't handle any more of your behavior. But I'll stop it. I won't do it anymore. If you don't want to talk anymore, that's fine. I won't get involved with you. Obviously, I don't plan on hanging around you anymore. Like, our kids aren't particularly good friends. Cutting ties with you won't really cause me any trouble. I understand that you're angry with me and I also understand that I did wrong. But I'm sorry. So please, just don't tell my mother-in-law. You're too late. I've already told her everything. Moreover, I gave her screenshots of the chat so she could see it better. <laughs> You even went as far as to send her screenshots, huh? Sending pictures is faster than talking anyways. Hey, I just got a message from her saying that she is coming over to talk about something important. She also told me that she'll be talking to you right away. My husband is at work and my kids are in kindergarten. I'm all alone, you know. So? 
Being alone with my mother-in-law is going to be hell. On that vacation trip before, I thought I was going to die with how bad it was. Natalie, you're friends with her, right? Quick, come to my place. No, there's no point in me going anyway. I'm scared to be alone. If you're here, I'm sure that she won't get as mad compared to if I was alone. How about being thankful for her caring enough to get angry at you? I'm not as nice as your mother-in-law and will instead be cutting any and all ties, so good luck! Wait, please, please don't ignore me. What happened next? Following the conversation, it seems that Marissa's mother-in-law had come to her house in order to give her a long lecture. From there, a family meeting was held, which is where Marissa's biggest fear of living with her in-laws became a reality. After moving in with her in-laws, it seems that she had changed as a person. She became much more quiet. Other mothers had also distanced themselves from her, and from then on, at kindergarten events and other things, she always seemed lonely. However, as she is the one who caused all of this, she is simply suffering from the consequences of her own actions. I have learned from this and will take care on how I personally treat those around me.